हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन चैनल ऑल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड चैप्टर थ्री ऑफ क्लास सिक्स एंड दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ द सेम राइट एंड इन दिस क्लास वी विल लर्न एडिटिंग अ टेबल सो टेबल इज मेड अप ऑफ रोज एंड कॉलम्स सो वेन वी विल एडिट अ टेबल वॉट वी विल डू वी विल मेक द चेंजेस इन द रोज एंड कॉलम्स राइट सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन टेबल एडिटिंग इज इंजर्टिंग रो एंड कॉलम और डिलीटिंग रोज एंड कॉलम्स राइट सो वी विल एड दी रोज एंड कॉलम्स एंड डिलीट सो दिस इज आर टूडेज टॉपिक राइट सो लेट्स मूव अहेड सो द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज इंजर्टिंग कॉलम्स एंड रोज इन अ टेबल वाइल वर्किंग एंड मेकिंग एंट्रीज इन अ टेबल so we may feel a need to add rows or columns in our table right so ms word provides the facility to add new columns to the right and left of any existing column right so columns are vertical so either they will be added on the right side or to the left side rows are horizontal so new rows will be inserted above or below the selected row right so this is our inserting rows and columns in a table now let's do it practically and learn so you see this is a table right how many columns we are having we are having four columns right we are having four columns and how many rows are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and eight. so we are having eight rows and four columns now if we want to insert any column right so what we will do we will now uh, notice one thing when i click outside the table so you will not see the tables tool the moment you will click on the table you will get to see table tools so we have design and layout when we want to make any structural change in the table we need to select this layout tab right now where we want to insert the column in that column we need to click first for example i want to add a column right next to the names column so this is the name column and i want a one new column between name and english so what will i do i will click on the name and now i will go in the i have clicked the layouts i will click here insert right now you can see rows and column is the name of the group and here we have you can see in the pictures these small icons are indicating what will happen if we will click this so if i click here what will happen you see a new column is added now i want a column new column between english and hindi so where i will click i will click in english or i can click on hindi also then i will click on insert left right got it now i want a new column if i say i want a column before mathematics so what will i do i'll click on the mathematics and i will insert left button so this is a simple way to insert column right now if i want to insert a row above this row where the name of the subjects has been written so i want a row above this so i'll click here and i go in insert above so a new row is added right above the uh, columns heading right now i want new row after this so i'll insert new insert new so if you will keep on click, clicking keep on getting the new rows so this is very very simple how we can insert rows and columns in a existing table you need to pay attention where to keep your mouse uh, mouse cursor if it is blinking here what you want to do you want to add a row above or below or you want to add a column right or left it's just that simple right so i hope you are completely clear about how we can do this so now when you in your existing table you will click anywhere you will get to see table tools right and then in the tables tool 
you are going to make changes in the structure so you will click on the layout layout deals with the structural changes right so in the layouts you will get this rows and columns group and here you can make the changes right next is deleting rows and columns in a table now you can add rows and column similarly you can delete also right so for deleting you will click on the table anywhere then this table tools will appear then you will click on the layout almost same step and then right before this you will see a delete group right so let's move and see how we can do this now you see that there are too much rows in this uh, i don't need that much rows so what you can do now you see this is a i click outside so there is no table tools i'll click anywhere on the table so you will get to see this layouts and here we have delete now now you need to pay attention which row or column you want to delete for example i don't want the this column between hindi and mathematics so my cursor should be blinking here right now i'll click here you you see delete cell delete columns delete rows and delete table so all the options are here so i'll click on delete column so column will be deleted right now i don't want this row above the heading row so this row is waste i don't need this so i'll click on this go in this drop down menu of the delete option click on the delete row now i want i don't want last four rows so i'll click and select four rows click on delete and delete rows so that so that many rows will be deleted for example you don't want last two columns so you just select two columns two columns with your mouse pointer for like this also the same thing or even if you click select two consecutive cells of the column it will be uh, perform the same action delete columns so delete column will happen right now if you want to delete the entire table what you need to do you just click on the table and delete table option so table will be deleted i'll press control z in order to bring back in by mistake if you delete anything just press control z so it will bring back all the uh, actions it will undo all the actions right so i hope you have learned how to insert rows and columns in a existing table and delete rows columns and delete even the entire table right so practice practice and practice that will make you perfect in your subject right so see you in the next video till then take care and goodbye god bless you all